being a BC resident my whole life, it's, it's definitely one of those things you really can't take for granted. We've grown up with all this amazing terrain right at our hands, and it definitely shapes us and the people who we are. One of the negative things about my job is uh, during summertime, that's when I'm home the least. That feeling of being away and getting off the plane, the best way I could describe it is anticipation. You know, you're so antsy just to get home. Any chance I get to be around here, I take full advantage of it. Motor time. Yep. Went out with Steve Smith and probably ride with him probably the most. We both love to ride bikes and we both love the moto as well, so it's, uh, it's, it's pretty funny to be pushing each other in, in the same uh, unit. For myself and a lot, of, a lot of guys like Steve, we don't really do things that aren't pushing our limits because that's kind of what makes us tick. We're all a product of our environment and our environment is definitely one of the sickest in the world. This is my hometown. Five kilometers from where I grew up is where I reside now. You get everything you want to do, and you have like all the means to do it. For me, home is home. There ain't no place like it. All these sports that I do, I don't just do them just because I love them, but at the same time, you know, they all, they all in their own way help one another. It all blends into one and it all helps me become a better bike rider. To be around here in, these, uh, in this part of the world, I like to do what I like to do. It's kind of it's kind of a smorgasbord. Oh, I wouldn't live anywhere else. It's pretty easy to do a multiple sport day living on the island. Yesterday it was like warm and today, you know, I woke up out the window and it was snow. Yeah, that's where we're going up top there. You never really know what's up there. Kind of our little secret. Secret little zone that a buddy of mine that found a few years back and uh, gonna get up there and uh, ride some lines. Gonna have some fun. Island style. This is pioneering. No one's ever had heli skiing in here. No one's ever really sledded in here. And uh, it's just absolutely sick. Pretty much paradise as far as I'm concerned. But uh, don't tell anyone else that. <laughs> pretty unreal being uh, the only only guys up there especially you know, you know finding zones that no one else has ever actually ever slided in before so it's pretty cool to be able to do that and you know once you're up there you're you know, pretty much down on top of the world I was super pumped because you know I've, I've been in that bowl before and I never, never had the opportunity to really get in there and do some of those snowboard descents. And uh, you know there's only a few people who've actually laid eyes on it, let alone actually poured it down it. So it's it's pretty cool doing some first descents on my own. I started traveling when I was younger and I really had the advantage on, on top of all my other friends that I grew up with where they all were like, hey, dude, get out of here, this place sucks, and no, no. It's just like, dude, you guys are crazy. You guys have no idea how good it is here. This is the best place in the universe for everything. Man, like 
what more can you ask for? I am a product of my own environment, and this is why I am who I am. <laughs>